Common Sense 101, I got your big reason why you better not freaking vote for Kamala Harris. This X post made me so mad I almost threw the damn phone across the room. I need a goodie powder because I have a headache. Why is it this illegal alien, this so-called migrant from Venezuela, left a receipt at the cash register in one of the New York City bodegas? Hold up. I'm going to tell you. Why is it that this heifer, who has never put anything into this country, never worked in this country, never paid social security tax, never paid a property tax, never put into the uh, IRS, never paid anything into anything, came here with her damn hands stuck out, came from shithole country, wherever the hell you from, This individual left the receipt where she had just bought some food at the bodega, okay? Her food stamp balance, let me make sure I'm getting this right, on her EBT card, her taxpayer-funded EBT card, her food stamp balance is 13000 $401.82 for one month. That's this individual's food stamp balance for one month. Okay? Because when you use your EBT card, it leaves a record of the balance after you've gone to the store and spent it, whatever. But somehow... This bitch who has literally never, and yeah, I said it, I'm going to say it again. This bitch who has never paid anything into this system is somehow worthy to get $13,401.82. Cash balance is $4,498.85. The fuck? I really do need a goodie powder. That's just one. That's one. One of them. That's one of them. New York has hundreds of thousands of these foreign nationals roaming around. Why does she have $13,000 in food stamps? I, 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 I'm, I'm mystified. I mean, veterans are literally sleeping on the freaking streets with maybe $100, $200 a month in food stamps. And they fought in wars to uh, protect this country. They don't get $13,000 a month in food stamps. And they don't get $4,498 a month in cash. I'm looking at it. Just, I, I, I can't even believe this is real. <laughs> this is, this is actually real. Senior citizens have to go back to work after working for 70 years in their eighties. They have to work to greet at Walmart or Costco because they can't stop working. They don't have enough money with this so-called inflation reduction act and the extremely high inflation, thanks to Biden Harris. And you're gonna vote for this shit to continue? Oh my God, don't talk to me. If you even, I, I mean, the identity politics aside, Kamala Harris has an open checkbook. She has an endless credit card on your tax dime and she does not buy cheap things she can buy whatever she wants she can drive whatever she wants she can live wherever she wants because she has the money thanks to you and your tax donations and of course the big donors foreign and domestic probably mostly foreign but whatever 
$13,000. This Venezuelan migrant gets $13,000 a month in food stamps. Another 4,400, that's just a balance. That means it started higher than that. So this individual had even more than that, than what I just mentioned. In what world is this allowed? I am seeing videos in Venezuela where she just uh, came here from, where there are hundreds of thousands of people taking to the streets because of the rigged you-know-what that just took place where Nicolas Maduro does not want to leave power. So he's just like the Katie Hobbs of Venezuela is just sitting there like, nope, I ain't leaving. Even though exit polls show that the other candidate won clearly based on what the people want. You can make a machine say anything you want when you program it. But what do the people want? Do you really want this? Do you really want four more years of this? Because it will get worse. They're going to be buying these people homes, like flat out and just giving it to them. Black Rock Vanguard, they'll just continue to buy up homes and uh, rent them out. And Harris will just give government subsidies to these uh, migrants so that they can have homes while you figure out where you're going to live because they have priced you out. But they, these migrants have government subsidies for the rest of their pathetic existence on your tax dollars. Oh my God. $13,000 a month in food stamps. Another 5000 or so a month in cash to a Venezuelan migrant who just got here and you want to vote for Harris?